What's up, y'all? Baba Boy 13 here from iPhoneEnthusiast.com. That's iPhone-Enthusiast.com. So Apple, either uh, the douchebags over there either got real smart and intentionally or inadvertently uh, made it impossible for us to theme our keyboards the way we used to on 2.x. And uh, now that we're on uh, 3.x, 3.0 and up, we can't do that any longer the way we used to from Winterboard simply. There is a way though, as a matter of fact, there's my keyboard right now, which is actually an old theme we used to be able to use on Winterboard that has been until now uh, impossible. So what you're going to need to do to get this done, I've been getting a lot of replies on Twitter about uh, my keyboard and uh, they want to know exactly how to do it. Some people have tried and failed, some people have done it and loved it. Some people didn't like it so much because the way you're going to do this, it will disable your Apple stock auto corrections on your phone, which actually iAccess has just emailed me back and uh, told me that they're going to implicate, uh, implement the, uh, the auto corrections feature into their next version or their next update. I'm not sure which yet, whether it's going to be another version of the app or it's just going to be an update, but we will find out soon enough. So to get started, we're going to go into Cydia. Now I'm not going to install any of this, I backgrounded it to make it real quick for you here. Uh, I already have all this installed, so what you're going to do is you're going to go to uh, a search. You're going to type in iAccess, or even just part of iAccess. Now you're going to realize that the keyboard doesn't come up in Cydia. There's a couple applications, including Cydia, that this keyboard will not function in, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. The only one that I ran across really is Cydia, Rock, which I don't use, Screw Rock and iFile. iFile you will need to toggle back and forth between your English standard keyboard. But you're going to type in iAccess, I-A-C-C-E-S, singular S, search. You're going to find the uh, first, the iAccess source. You're going to add that source. After you add that source, you're going to find the iAccess products which is paid, it's a $15 application, and I wouldn't advise trying to use a cracked version or changing any of this via SSH to make it a free version because you will brick your phone. And uh, sometimes even worse than brick, it will screw up the processor in your phone and you don't want to do that. So shell out the 15 bucks or whatever it is, get the app and uh, it'll be fine. You're going to add iAccess for English, which, uh, yeah, for 3.x. Uh, uh, you're going to add that. After this adds the application, at the end of the installing Insidia, it's going to tell you to restart your springboard. Uh, I have found it's better because I don't know if it's personally something that I have on there or not, but I found it better to reboot directly from that screen. When you're on that black screen and it tells you to restart springboard or reload springboard, I just go into SV settings and I go to power and I go to reboot because it wants you to fully restart your phone. Something's quirky there. I don't know if it's my phone or if other people have this problem, but just reboot like that and you'll be okay. After that, you're going to want to go back in and install wherever this is. iAccess 4 theme right here for iAccess 3. This is going to theme you to the old version of iAccess. But the good thing about this is it's all optional to put it in English. Before it was just Chinese. So after you have those installed, you're going to want to go into your iAccess app, which I have in my dock, my secondary dock. Yours will be probably on your springboard, or will be on your springboard. You're going to go into your iAccess app. At first, it probably won't be this layout. You're going to want to go into your keyboard theme here and you're going to want to select the iAccess 3 theme. Then you're going to want to restart your phone again. Okay? After that's all set up, you can go back into there and set it back to English, restart the app, and then we'll be in English to the Chinese. You're going to want to toggle through all your toggles here and turn besides this top one, and I have the uh, slide for updates, because I like that feature, turn on. Everything else you want off. You're going to want to go into, uh, well, the individual apps, you can leave all these on, but you're going to definitely want to go into this individual IMA, and whatever's turned on in here, go into that section and turn all those off. All your toggles 
should be off except for I have chosen to leave on the uh, the slide for upcase, which I'll show you in a moment here, and uh, of course to enable it. You're going to want those on. Then you're going to want to go back into Cydia, and you're going to want to find the keyboard you want. Now be careful because some of the themes are for the old iAxis 3. You're going to want to find the ones that are for iAxis 4 with the iAxis theme built into the app. I know this sounds like a lot, but once you do those first couple steps, this should come pretty easy. I have installed my theme that I have on there, if I can find it, is the iAxis BB Easy Type. If I go in there, it should load in the description. It'll say that it's for the iAxis 4 updated version. If I wait for a mod my to kick in and show me the description, sometimes it takes a few minutes. As most of you probably know. Uh, there it is. It's going to say right here, as you see, for, with iAccess 4, you're going to want that. Okay? Then you're going to turn that, after you install that, you're going to turn it on in Winterboard, let it do its magic. Here's my keyboard. Now, if you have your English keyboard and your settings enabled, you're going to want to just toggle through your uh, little uh, globe field there that you would use to toggle your emojis. You're going to toggle through that and this will pop up should pop up. If you get something wrong, it won't. Go back and watch the video again. Uh, I have my English keyboard built in turned off, so it only toggles between this and emojis. I find it easier that way. Auto corrections will not work. You can add in spell and add your own auto corrections. That'll solve some of your problem until iAccess gets the full function working. I like this because it has a slide to capitalize. It also has the, the caps. Caps locks is, lock is built in, so you don't have to have that enabled in your settings for your keyboard inside the settings app. But if I type U and slide part way up, it's going to capitalize it. So that's a cool little feature. The rest of the features are kind of limited as of now until they get those auto corrections fixed on it, which, like I said, I just received an email from my access telling me that it will be in, in the next version and the uh, stay tight, hang tight and stay tuned here. So that's really cool. Here's your theme keyboard. There's many others to come. A uh, big shout out to my people at My Great iPhone Repo. They have a lot of uh, themes already for the iAccess 3 build, which uh, I just got a word from my homeboy over there that they're working on uh, changing the format over to iAccess 4. So stay tuned for that. That should be coming shortly. Man, uh, that's about the gist of it. Here's your theme keyboard. Any questions about it, con uh, just hit me up on Twitter at BabaBooey13, that's B-A-B-A-B-O-O-E-Y-1-3, and uh, hit me up and we'll see. Now, since I don't have a giveaway on this one, a real giveaway because I paid for this, I'm not paying, shelling out 14, 15 bucks for this app, uh, go ahead and uh, if you want something free, I can give you a good secret here on how to get the King of All Media, Howard Stern, on your iPhone for free. The West Coast channel, the Howard 101 that has Bubba the Love Sponge, that has Howard Stern, that has Scotty Farrell, and uh, some of the other programming on there. You can just hit me up on Twitter and uh, send me a message with proof that you're subscribed to this channel. If you want, hit me up on my YouTube channel first with your Twitter ID and I'll send you, a, and follow me on Twitter, I'll send you a direct message on how to do that. It's a little uh, well-kept secret. Don't spread this around to a lot of people because we don't want them to shut it down. But uh, that's what I got for you people here today. So that's about the gist of it. Any questions, contact me on Twitter, not on my YouTube account. For uh, the little secret Howard Stern, Iggy, go ahead and uh, hit me up on YouTube with your uh, Twitter account, and I'll give you a, uh, a shout-out. I'm BabaBooey13, and I'm out of here. Peace, y'all.